Okay, so feeling the feelings. So the idea with, I call it feeling the feelings, but actually it's not, uh, it's just allowing. It's just allowing whatever it is to be without any form of labeling, without any form of thought. So it's just, um, so if you've got like uh, any kind of general feeling or any feelings, you know, that could be in the, in the throat or in the stomach or around the eyes, whatever it is, then this, the thing is to allow them, let them be, and the process of letting them be is to let go or at the same time the process of labeling or going into thought around it. So how you do that is just like, for example, if there was uh, a feeling in the stomach, just allow it to be experienced and then as soon as you go into a thought or a label or a story around it, detach from that thought or that label, or that story, and just allow it to be experienced. So as you're just allowing it to be experienced, you're, you may want to go into another thought, you may start to emerge about it. But just unhook from that thought and just be back with the feeling. So you're just allowing it, allowing the feeling to be uh, while detaching from thoughts. And the trick is, if you just allow that feeling to be fully present, um, and then, as soon as another thought comes, detach and just back with the, but with the, with the feeling, the sensation. As another thought emerges, detach, back with the feeling. As you get better and better, you get quicker and quicker at identifying the thoughts emerging and letting it go and just be back with the feeling. So the, more, the better you get at this, the more time you're just allowing any energies or feelings to just be experienced and there's less and less time in thought. So when you are identified with thought you're not feeling you're not allowing the energy to be experienced you're actually resisting the experiencing of that because you're now hooked into thought so the idea is just allow anything to be and to be experienced and just unhook from thoughts as soon as they emerge quicker and quicker now let's say there is a sensation in the stomach or around the eyes or whatever it may be you're just allowing it you just allow it also, if there's anything that wants to push it away, let that go. Let, allow it to fully be here. Just let go of any unconscious trying to push it or not experience it. Just fully allow it to be experienced. And as you allow it to experience, experience it, it'll start to dissolve. And if you go into another thought around it, just detach from that thought and just let it be. Fully experience it. Almost like you're not saying, you're not using your mental faculties. It's like you fully want it to be experienced and then and then let it dissolve away if there's something like pain or something intense comes up fully welcome it just don't try and push it away just allow it let go of the thoughts or the story around it also if there's something like what i what i call the supervisor or an unconscious tracking of what's going on or there's something in the background saying are you doing it right or are you doing it wrong let that go because when you just allow things to be and you switch off your thinking and switch off any kind of unconscious thinking, a supervision type thinking, then actually what's experiencing is grace because you are no longer the experiencer of the experience because you, your thoughts are no longer there. As you just allow the, the, the energies to be here, it's not even an energy, it's a vibration. It's not really a vibration. It starts to get more and more diffuse and more and more non-local and then it'll vanish off and then something else may come up but just allow that to come and allow that to dissolve away and the next thing to dissolve away as you allow things to be and let go of your thoughts around it it'll become more and more diffuse and more and more dissolve it'll dissolve and something else may come even if there's two things present at the same time you may intuitively be guided not uh, to be with one first or if there are two things that are equally predominant, then you can simultaneously allow both of them just to be and dissolve. Uh, but just trust the process, tr trust it. No thinking required, no analytics required, no thoughts required, and just let these things dissolve away by just allowing them to be. When you allow something to be, it starts to lose its power and dissolve away and become less and less. It's only by pushing things down it's only by thinking about things that things stay. But if you just let them come up and just be there and be there and be there until they dissolve, they, they release into the ether, 
into nothingness. So we're going to do that now for about uh, five to ten minutes, and then and then we'll see how we do.